Well, you asked for it, so now it's time to tell you our love story. Meri teri teri meri prem kahani et muskil. So many people have been asking for this video, especially Ruth, who mujhe hamesha tang karti hai. Is video banana ke liye. So we are gonna tell you now what our love story is. So basically, I am Canadian. I was born and raised here in southern Ontario. Uh, I was raised in a religious community. It's Protestant, evangelical. Uh, our, den our denomination is called the Brethren. And when I was a teenager, especially in my late teenage years, I was really, really getting, I, I don't want to say rattle, radicalized, but I was becoming very, very interested in my faith. And so I decided after high school, I was going to go to Bible college. So I went up to this little town called Peterborough, uh, to this tiny conservative Bible college. There was about, there was less than 50 people in the whole three year program that was going on when we arrived. And uh, that is where I met Ruth. And the question you must have is, how did Ruth get there? <laughs> now, Ruth, you can tell your story. Okay. So, my Abu, who was with the Church of Pakistan, he was with the Padri. And he has another story how he converted. That'll be another video. That'll be another video. But because we grew up Christians as Marwaris, uh, and I had seen a lot of uh, white people speak English. You thought you should speak that stuff I too. I had a little, and I love that how those people were so nice to our community, especially the Marwari people. So now what do you mean when you say that? Do you mean that the Marwari people in Pakistan were not, uh, it was not good for them? It almost felt like, like people would look down on us because we were Marwari. We wore like strange clothing. You guys have seen me wear this, you know, the Ghagra, the Chuda and all that stuff. And people would be like, oh, most of us weren't educated. So we okay. work in the fields, you know, people don't have houses like other Punjabi people, educated people. So you could clearly see the distinction, like, and I hated that. But when I saw the missionaries, the, you know, foreign workers, they would go to the villages. I really liked that they didn't judge. They would sit on the floor with us like you do, you know, they, they would just love wearing the clothes and just be with us and I love that I was like you know what I gotta marry one of those guys oh my I actually I remember thinking they are so nice and if I can have a, a person who is like that I am able to work with the Marbari community you know because you I don't know it was what kind of work what do you mean by work with the Marbari like community? basically something that could help with education or something like for example right now we're doing I 117 which mm -hmm. is to help with the Marbari widows and orphans so something that back then my mind was like what could I do with that right so that was anyways that's what made me um, learn English so you learned English when you were really really young you were very motivated and determined because of this dream that you have what happened next Mera <laughs> फिर क्या हुआ जैसा कि मैंने कहा हम काफी मिश्री लोगों को जानते थे एक दिन क्या हुआ एक औरत आई हमारे घर ना वो ही वाली जो मैंने ख्वाब में देखी थी आप भले हंसो उसके छोटे-छोटे बाल थे तो वो हमारे घर आई चर्च के बाद ना आती थी मेरे अब्बू को जानती थी वो हमेशा वो हमारे घर आई तो तब तक मेरी इंग्लिश ना इतनी थी कि मैं हेलो हाय हाउ आर यू क्या हाल है ठीक है खाना खाएंगे पानी पिएंगे वगैरह वगैरह बोल सकती थी मैं फिर मैंने कहा कि अंग्रेज आई मैं इसको कंप्रेस में करती हूं मेरी आदत थी <laughs> कि शो ऑफ करना कि अंग्रेजी मेरे को आती अभी तक आपकी आदत है खास तौर पे क्योंकि मैं मारवाड़ी थी यू गाइस हैव नो आईडिया दिस इज अ बिग डील एक अगर मैं पंजाबी होती कराची की होती तो फर्क बात थी मारवाड़ी होते हुए अंग्रेजी मुंह से निकलना जैसे कि हाय अल्लाह इसके मुंह से क्या बाहर आ रहा है ऐसे होता था सो देन दैट लेडी सेड यू नो you speak really good English. How is how about I take you to Canada? I sponsor you to go to Canada because she also had a good relationship with my parents. She's like, I will sponsor you to go to Canada and get educated. Then you have to promise to come back and teach in my school in Pakistan. That right there, guys, was a dream come true because I remember dreaming on a, being on a plane. Heck, we didn't even own a rickshaw, guys, or a donkey for that matter. So, Ruth gets this awesome opportunity. She gets to go to Canada for what she is thinking is going to be a real deal education. Turns out the missionary had a very small conservative Bible college in mind. But who do I see in my first year in this little tiny Bible college? Nothing but white folks. This lady, bubbling with excitement, 
going around saying, honestly, it's amazing, like again and again to everybody she sees. Uh, I think we became friends right away. Wait a minute. Let's do another story. There's another story that came in the house. My visa came in. It's been 3-4 years. Now, look at the power of God. When it happens, it's like this. If I come here, I don't get this. So, it's good that I didn't get a visa. One time I got it. मेरे अबू फिर पहली बार मैंने अपने अबू को देखा नहीं दूसरी बार एक बार जब मेरी दादी की डेथ हुई थी तब रोए थे मेरे अबू और जब मेरा वीजा आया मेरे अबू रोए इतना मुझे देख के उनको पता नहीं क्या हो गया मेरे अबू ऐसी शख्सियत थी ना जैसे मेरे लिए सब कुछ मेरे अबू ही थे फिर वो खुश भी बहुत थे दुखी भी बहुत थे कि वो हमेशा मुझे बेटा बोलते थे और बेटों की तरह ट्रीट करते थे फिर मैं खुश भी बहुत थी दुखी भी बहुत थी बाप मैं बाहर तो आ गई इतना मुझे अच्छा लगा मैंने कहा ये लो इतनी सारी लाइट है पानी भी नहीं जाता है दरख्त भी इतने सारे हैं हमारे घर तो एक ही नीम का दरख्त है पूरे बाग के अंदर और क्या नाम है ना गधे रोडों के ऊपर ना घोड़े सिर्फ घोड़े सिर्फ घोड़े 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 कुछ नहीं it was really weird I was very happy for the first week and then I was I was like I too much I have to go back home but you didn't go back home. In fact, it, it would take you four years to go back home uh, because you went to my Bible college where I swept you off your feet. We fell in love in second year, got married in third year, dropped out of fourth year, and then moved to Pakistan because we had to fulfill Ruth's contract. Ah. And we lived there for four years. That's where I learned Urdu. That's where I fell in love with a very strange, conflicted, beautiful, and confusing country. I mean woman. <laughs> <laughs> very hot too. <laughs>